the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, <clears throat> excuse me, starting from verse 1, reading from the NLT, reading from the NLT version. It says, The Lord Yahweh says to Edom, Edom are the so called white people, Caucasians, that's right. Esau's name was changed to Edom. Rebecca had twins by Isaac. The first one that came out, his name was Esau. And the second son's name was Jacob. Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white people, the Edomites. That's right. They gave themselves the name white eh, to fool the masses. But their biblical name is Esau. It says, the Lord says to Edom, I will cut you down to size among the nations. You will be greatly despised. Eh? Everything you see in front of you, the fact that these nations are walking away from the U.S. dollars, this is what the Lord is doing. Because we are in the last days of the last days of the last days. That's why we were put here to let the nations know what is about to take place yes in their mind they think they're gonna the dollar is gonna collapse they're gonna introduce their fed now which is a digital currency cbdc but it is all gonna come to naught because the lord is setting them up and then bring them down head first the lord already said in the book of job that they will not fulfill their enterprise and our job here as the mouthpiece of the almighty power, the only power that matters in this universe, Yahweh is his name, his only begotten son, the one the world ignorantly called Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, simply means he is the deliverer of who? The Israelite, the elect of Israel. Yahweh Shai said in the book of Matthew 24, verse 22 that for his elect sake he's gonna cut the time short he's only coming for a remnant who are so-called blacks native african-american negroes caribbeans that's why family spread across the four corners of the world this time it's only going to be a remnant because the lord doesn't want to experience what he went through when he got us out of egypt when we became very rebellious Yes, drove Moses nuts, and Moses didn't even make it to the promised land. He died on the other side of the Jordan River. But this time, a remnant was picked before the foundation of the earth to receive salvation. And we pray that we are among the remnant. Again, let's begin this lesson by giving honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is our heavenly father. And his only begotten son, our redeemer, our savior, our king, the first fruit ever created, the only begotten of our power. Yes, the prince of Salem, that's right, Melchizedek. That's right, family, he has all different titles. And he is our king. But this time he promised that he is going to live among us because he says he has gone to his father's house to prepare a place for us. And he says when he prepare a place for us, he will come and gathers us and where he is that's where we're going to be so this time is based on faith family it says the just shall live by faith and we believe every single word of this holy scriptures and that is faith it was a gift given to us pursuing to the book of uh, ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 the gift that the faith that we have is a gift from the almighty power through Yahweh Shai. Again, to you, the hopeful elect, I say, shall one. Dollar being gradually abandoned, International Monetary Fund, IMF boss says, Yes, it is the Lord that is doing it, but let's bring the precepts out 
and glorify our power. And his only begotten son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, it says here, the Lord says to Edom, I will cut you down to size among the nations. You will be greatly despised. It's not coincident that these nations are now of, of telling America to leave the Middle East. These nations are coming together, forming their own currency, trading in their own currency, because it is the Lord Yahweh that is doing it. That's why uh, the Lord said, you will be greatly what? Despised. Despised. Let's look up that word. The word despised. Eh? Bazaar. That's the Hebrew word. Strong's H 959. Bazaar. 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 That's the Hebrew word. This is here. To despise, hold in contempt, disdain, and regard with contempt, to be despised, to be de de despicable, to be vile, worthless. Yes, family, it is the Lord that is doing it. Because, yes, it says, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. It says here, oh, it says verse 1, you have been deceived by your own pride. Mm? You hear that? Because you live in a rock fortress and make your home high in the mountains, you can ever reach us way up here. You ask boastfully. Eh? Because, yeah, that's their mindset, right? Look at their structures. Esau is the one that introduced what? Uh, high rise building. Yes. That's what the Lord is referring to. And then also their, their mindset. Nobody can bring them down. Eh? Boastfully. They tell you. They tell you that they are God. Who changed the image of the Most High Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai? Esau, when he came back in the 1400s, in the Renaissance, he did that. And he fooled the entire world that he is God and he is the Son of God. He says here, but even if you saw as high as eagles and build your nest among the stars, referring to their space station, Yes. He says, I will bring you crashing down, says the Lord. That's what the Lord is doing. Systematically, your financial system, your social system, educational, everything is coming down systematically. Because when it's all said and done, there's going to be no remembrance of Esau's kingdom. That's what the Lord is doing. Don't get a twisted family. Don't let them fool you. They are putting on a brave face. Yes. This is engineered. This collapse is engineered. But they didn't know that there is the Lord that set them up. In their mind, they think they're going to collapse it and then they bring the solution. They're going to build back better, the fourth industrial revolution. But no, it's not going to happen according to their plans. This is the will of the Lord. The Lord is actually allowing them to destroy themselves. That's the power that we serve. It says here, But even if you soar as high as eagles and build your nest among the stars, I will bring you crashing down, says the Lord. If thieves came at night and robbed you, what a disaster awaits you. They would not take everything. Those who harvest grapes always leave a few for the poor. But your enemies will wipe you out completely. That's right. These nations, they are going full steam. To abandon the dollar, they want to see America falls on the fall on its face, and it's going to happen. The Fed now, the digital, the CDBDC that they're about to introduce, where eventually everything is going to lead to the karagma, Esau's magic stick, which is going to go under your skin, it's all going to fail. But there are going to be some people that are going to buy into it, just like the the serpent juice. Remember the serpent juice, 2019, 20, I said 1920, 2020, you know. Yes, 2020. If you don't take it, you can't work, you can't fly, you can't go to the gym, you can't go to the restaurant. Some people took it and now they're regretting it. But here we are. It's about to happen again. That was a round test, family. They test people, you see who is going to be willing to do it. But majority of the people, because it's going to be so dire. This is Jacob's trouble coming up. 
it's going to be so dire that some family people are going to be left with no choice but we the hopeful elect our trust is in the lord we rather go into the spirit world than family comply with esau's uh, shenanigans no we're going to wait on the lord and we have the sure word of prophecy and that's the confidence that we have in the word of the lord our power yahweh Hashem. that's why family we boastfully declare the name of our power yahweh we're telling you that there's no other power like him yahweh and his only begotten son our king those two entities those two powers there's no other power that's why we're telling you to family hang in there the, you know, the hopeful elect hang in there. They are, their plans are going to fail. And you're going to see it. Because the Lord promised in the book of Psalm 91. It says, your eyes shall behold the reward of the wicked. We're going to see their system collapse. We're going to see when the Lord eh, bring down the, 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 the fire to, the, to, to turn America from east to the west coast, from the north to the south, to a lake of fire. The Lord promised that our eyes shall behold the reward. And that's the reward that the Lord is bringing for Esau. Hmm? Verse 6, it says, Every nook and cranny of Edom will be searched and looted. Every treasure will be found and taken. All allies will turn against you. Are you listening to this? All your allies, even your European allies, because Revelation 17 hasn't been fulfilled yet. Towards the last precept, the last two precepts, it says NATO, EU, they're going to turn on America and they're going to burn hell with fire. So your own allies, let's confirm, it says here, all your allies, family, these are not my words. These are the word of the almighty power. <clears throat> it says here, Obadiah 1.7, all your allies will turn against you. <clears throat> They will help to chase you from your land. They will promise you peace while plotting to deceive and destroy you. Your trusted friends will set traps for you and you won't even know about it. Yes, France, Germany, all this European Union. Oh yeah, don't even touch the global south. That's why right now all these Middle East countries are telling America, listen, Yankee, it's time to go home. They don't want you here anymore. And this is all a setup for the third world war that is coming. Yes. Family, we are blessed to have this gospel. The Lord is setting everything up. But family, let's bring out this article. And uh, we're going to... Let's read a bit of it. I have four articles that we're going to go through. We're going to fly through it. Yes, everything is leading to their ultimate goal is to put... Esau's stick under your skin. Family, we're going to continue to beat this drum because somebody needs to hear it. Because we're following the Spirit. Whatever the Lord, the angels gives us, that's what we bring out. This is the will of our Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, we're going to condemn some, something you've heard it many, many times. We continue to beat the drum, but somebody is going to hear it and he's going to be sealed and he's going to be delivered. That's right. That's why we do this lesson. Whether it's one person that that was able to watch this lesson doesn't matter family is not about the view it's the lord that is sealing his elect our job as the mouthpiece of the lord is to teach the word that's it teach the word and the lord along with the angels they're going to seal they are is they going to seal the elect and they're going to be delivered dollar being gradually abandoned international monetary fund boss Family, this is IMF saying this. They are saying this. If they are saying it, obviously, family, it's already in the works. Majority of these nations are done with the dollar. And it's going to collapse, yes. It's going to be chaos on the street. They're going to introduce the Fed, the CBDC, and people are not going to take it because it's all about surveillance. The moment you sign up for it, you are finished. You're basically saying that you're going to worship Esau. This man that don't own his own breath. Eh? This animal, you're going to be his slave forever. And the Lord is going to destroy you. That's why we're here to teach the word, to, to warn you. That's why he says, warn them. Ezekiel 3, 17. He says, warn, 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 warn. I've made you a watchman unto the house of Israel. That's right. He doesn't care about the rest of the nation. The rest of the nation, if they survive this calamity, every single one of them 
is going into slavery. Not one is going to be. All their kings, their elite, they are the first crop. That's right. Some, actually, let me bring it. I think it's Psalm 140. Is it Psalm 149? Psalm 140. Is it 47 or 149? Yes. Let's go to NLT. Let's go to King James Version. So family, like I said, through the Spirit, yes, all their kings, he says here, all these nations, whoever survived, let's say, he says here, let the high praises, it says, let the high praises, it says, let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. He's talking about the saints, the elect of Israel. It says, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. It says, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. That is slavery. That's right. Simply put, they are kings. Whoever survived this, this destruction that the Lord is bringing, they will be gathered. Some of them are going to be hiding in their bunkers, but we're going to dig them out. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. When we have that spiritual power, when the Lord change our bodies, oh yes, the world will see it. That's what is coming. It says, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. Eh? The judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. The saints are the Israelites. Nobody can be saint. Don't believe what uh, the apostle, what is it called, the Roman Catholic or whatever they teach in that hallowed houses family. Don't, don't even pay them no mind. They have no clue what they're talking about. It says here, Crystalina Georgieva says there are no viable alternative for global reserve currency. Yeah, family, they know what they are doing. Their goal is to, at the end of the day, have everybody under their vibration in the form of the, you know what, Esau's magic stick. Mm -hmm. Revelation 13, 16. That's where everything is leading to. So they can track everything you do. Mm -hmm. So that makes them God. They know everything about you. Mm -hmm. And Esau, Esau always wanted to be God. That's why, that's why the Lord said, your pride have deceived thee. Your pride. Let's read his success here. The managing director of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, has said the dollar is gradually losing its status as the world's main reserve currency. Speaking on Monday, Kristalina Christ, uh, uh, Georgieva noted that there is no viable alternative among global currencies to replace the greenback in the near future. There has, there has been gradual shift away from the dollar it was 70% of reserves. Now it is slightly under 60. Oh yeah, it is dropping fast. Hmm? Georgie, George, Georgieva stated at the 2023 Merkin Institute Global Conference in Beverly Hills, California. According to the IMF chief, the euro can be viewed as the biggest competitor to the dollar, while the British pound, the Japanese yen, and the Chinese yuan play a very modest role. She stressed that the leading factor for trust in the currency of this or that country is the strength of its economy and the depth of its capital markets. American economy is collapsing also right in front of your eyes. It says, and if you are thinking of an alternative in the world in which we may migrate to central bank digital currency, sorry, currencies massively, and there I, sorry, let me, let me, let me read this again. And if, quote, and if you are thinking of an alternative in the world in which we may migrate to central bank digital currencies massively. And there, I don't see an alternative. That's right. This, this, this has been the plan all along. Okay. I don't see it coming anytime soon. Georgieva said, they know what they are doing. Eh? They know what they are. Let's read a bit of this comment as well. 
she is lying the u.s reserve currency was as low as 48 percent not 60. oh yeah family these people don't tell her they don't know like because they said the book says what they come out of their mother's womb speaking lie the truth is not in them i don't know one politician that that speaks that speaks truth that's what they are they are known for they don't speak truth that's what the Lord says. He's going to wipe everything associated with these, the, with these devils. He's going to wipe it clean. No, there will be no remembrance of this kingdom here. Oh, yes. We're not going to remember. It says when we wake up in the kingdom, eh, in uh, Psalm 126, it's just going to be like a bad dream. It's just going to be like a bad dream. A new computer family is coming up. It says here, Georgia telling them they are screwed. Breaks digital currencies backed by gold. Go fast, grab the opportunity, or cry over spilled milk later. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. 70% is good enough for now, and iron the rough edges as you go. Now, you see, these people here, they put their trust in this system. They're thinking everything is going to go back to normal. The bricks are going to rule. No, 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 no. We're following what is written in the Bible. Because the last leg of the Roman Empire is America. And the moment America fall is Yahweh Shai's kingdom. And that's what, that's what we believe. Okay, we don't put our trust in gold. We don't put our trust in precious metal. You know what the precious metals that we have? The scriptures. That's right. We have gold. We have diamonds. We have, we have uh, all the precious metals in the world. Family is in the scriptures. That's what we have. And nobody can take that away from you. It says, build what? Your treasures in heaven, where moth and what? Moth and something cannot eat it, or something to that effect. I haven't gone into that uh, uh, precept in a while. Yes, our treasures are in heaven. It's in these scriptures. That's where we have our cryptocurrencies. Yes, our precious metals. That's right, those are every single word in that Bible. That's our precious metals. Family, that's what we invest in. And the Lord is not going to disappoint us. So family, I want to bring another article for edification purposes so here so this is from zero hedge five arab state plus iran among 19 nations ready to join BRICS. and eh? these are the nation in key in case nobody knows BRICS is another for BRICS. it's a i think it's a alternative to the swift this is how nations pay their uh uh, uh sorry trade their commodities eh? During this whole so-called, uh, uh, was no, what is it called? Uh, the uh, Russian and Ukraine war. Russia was kicked out of the break. Uh, sorry, was, was kicked out of the, uh, was kicked out of uh, SWIFT. Okay. Meanwhile, family, they've been forming this alliance where they're going to be trading in their own currency. And eh? I know they're going to be using a, a whole total different form of payment. And eh? that's how uh, uh, BRICS came about. Because they, they feel like they can't trust the West. <clears throat> they can't trust the West. And these are the nations, Saudi, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Algeria, Egypt, Bahrain, and Iran have formally asked to join the BRICS group of nations as it prepares to hold its annual summit in South Africa. So that, that, uh, that institution is growing. Eh? That institution is growing. They are, they are systematically walking away from, uh, from the West. With America and the EU and NATO, because family, this is what the Lord says in the book of Obadiah: "The pride of thine heart have deceived thee." Hmm? That's why the dollar is collapsing. These nations are traded in their own currency, and yes, America eventually is going to be like a third world country. Remember when the, uh, I believe it was uh, Donald Trump that said, "Africa is what a shithole country." America is going to be a shithole country. Exactly. That's the pride of these people. You pillage the countries. You steal their resources. Yes. You build your country. You turn around. You tell them. And then you ask, why are they poor? They are poor because of your laws. You, or because of the way you've gone into these countries. Steal their resources. Eh? Because of what? The sword. Nobody can come against the war machine. But guess what? Your time has come. And we say all praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, It says, in total, 19 nations have expressed interest in joining the emerging markets 
bloc of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, according to Anil Sokla, South Africa ambassador to the group. What will be discussed is the expansion of BRICS and the, the mo modalities of how this will happen. 13 countries have formally asked to join and another six have asked informally. We are getting applications to join every day, the South African official told Bloomberg earlier this week. BRICS will hold its annual summit in Cape Town during the first week of June. The foreign ministers from all five member states have confirmed their attendance. Early this month, Bloomberg revealed that BRICS is expected to, to soon surpass the U.S. led by G7 states in economic growth expectations. You see that? Let me repeat that again. Early this month, Bloomberg revealed that BRICS is expected to soon surpass the U.S. led G7 states in economic growth expectations. Now, that's why you know that the kingdom is coming to an end. Again, this BRICS or uh, Russia, China, they are not going to be the next rulers. Family, that's why I say we are in the last days of the last days of the last days. Because the moment America goes down, it is Yahweh Shai's kingdom. But that's but first, the, 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 the Esau magic stick have to be introduced and the third world war. Hmm? And the elect have to be sealed. That's right, and we believe that most of the elect are already sealed. Our praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Lukakodash. You see, Morgan Stanley prepares to cut 3,000 jobs as M and A activity source. Morgan Stanley is planning to eliminate 3,000 jobs in the second quarter amid the continuous slowdown in the merger and acquisition, merger and acquisition space and increasing concerns about recession as per, as per source cited by Bloomberg. Senior managers are discussing plans to eliminate about 3,000 jobs from the global workforce by the end of this quarter, according to the source. That's where everything is leading to. The, the system is collapsing right in front of your eyes. They're talking about giving you a, a universal basic income, UBI, right? That's all part of the Build Back Better, the World Reset. They collapse everything and they're telling you that you're going to own nothing. They're going to put you in 15-minute cities. These are all their plans. But we know what Job said, what? They will not fulfill their enterprise, right? Let me see if I can find it. Enterprise. Uh, let me, please bear with me. Let me do it this way. Then Job 5. Oh, yes, Job 5 12. Let's bring it up. Job 5. Job 5 12. What is this? Where is it? Where is it? It says here. It says here, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. Eh? And we know that there's nobody craftier than Esau Edom. Eh? So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. They are not winning, family. Don't be scared. It doesn't matter what they say. These people are not winning. They thinking they're going to collapse the system and introduce their new system into you're going to collapse the current system and introduce their new system but the moment the current year they collapse their current system it is over for them it is over for them and we thank the lord we thank the lord yahweh bahashem yahushai bahashem kodash for that let's bring this out so this is where everything is leading let's open this up a bit that's where everything is leading you see this is where everything is leading. So when IMF boss comes and tells you that oh, people are walking away from the dollar, it's all done systematically. But guess what though? 
this the lord hands are all over this he has set a trap for them and family they are falling right into the trap the disturbing this is from zero hedge again it says the disturbing reality of central bank digital currency and total surveillance central bank digital currency and privacy while many countries are considering launching their own cbdc's concerning concerns have arisen about the potential for these currencies to centralize financial data and enable total surveillance yes surveillance under your skin <laughs> so we're telling you this is not for you we are here to warn you you can't say you didn't hear it we were put here to warn you eh? to warn you so, family we are this is faith based eh? the lord is with us he gave us this truth to deliver us he didn't give you this truth to abandon you. So now you know what is happening in front of you, in front of your eyes. You say, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, we thank you for this gift. Family, our precious metals, our gold, diamond, eh? you name it, we have it all. It's in the precept. That's right. We are not investing in no silver, no gold. That's all the, that, the, what, the, what the world chases, family, we are not chasing that. We are building our treasures in heaven. Mm -hmm. We are not trying to save our life on this end. He said, if you try to save your life, your how I said, you're going to lose it. How are you going to try to save your life? By what? Bending to their rules and taking their magic stick. So that's how you're going to save it. Because it says, everybody, without it, you can buy or sell. What does that mean? Yes, it's going to affect your livelihood. But we're going to trust the Lord. <laughs> we expect a miracle. The same way the Lord fed Elijah. He sent what? Raven to feed Elijah. That's the type of miracle we are expecting. Lord willing, don't try to save your life. Yes, the pressure is going to be overwhelming. But remember, remind you, the Lord said he cannot give, it, give us anything that we cannot handle. Through that pressure, he's going to make a way. And that should be our mindset all the time. That should be our mindset. It says the disturbing reality of central bank digital currency and the total surveillance. It says, uh, what is it? Central bank digital currency and privacy. Oh, I think I read that already. So, so sorry. According to Bounds, the most significant concern with the CBDC is the potential for the Federal Reserve to have complete control over the financial data of individuals and businesses. Barnes explains that if a CBDC were to be implemented, the assets of individuals and entities in the real economy could move to the first balance sheet. This would effectively centralize control over the financial data of every American citizen. Banks then discuss the means by which the Federal Reserve could collect and centralize this data. One possible method is to force businesses to change their point of sale software, which will add a surveillance component to their transactions. This could be done through real time disclosure using temporary software that will enforce reporting requirements. Businesses will be encouraged to use this software by simplifying and streamlining they are reporting requirements, effectively making it easier for them to comply. Banks suggest that the Federal Reserve could use tax enforcement as leverage as tax enforcement tends to be more terrifying than the threat of losing a business license. That's, what, that's, that's Esau, man. Esau just want to make... Esau is all about fear, destruction, because this is going to give some people, the average person is going to give them anxiety. They're not going to know what to do. But family, the Lord said, we're going to rejoice. Actually, it says in the book of... Let me bring it up. Where is... Uh, go back to... Let's, let's go to the book of... Uh, I think, is it Job 5, 22? I believe uh, Job 5, 22. Is it Job 5, 22? Let's pick it up from verse 19. The Lord says here, let's finish with this. Job 5, 19. It says, he shall deliver thee in six trouble because we know between the sixth and the seventh trumpet, that's when we're going to be out of this place because that seventh trumpet hit is just pure missiles coming from the chariot, the pure destruction. Okay, so we have to be up in the chariot between the sixth and the seventh. 
Okay, so here it says, He shall deliver thee in six trouble. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Yeah, like I said, the seven trumpet, pure destruction. So we have to be up in those chariots. It says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. It said, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, listen to this. this. This is the point here. Job 5.22. When everybody's losing their mind and don't know what to do, whether to comply or not, hear what the Lord said. This is the spirit that we're going to be in. Job 5.22 says, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Do you know the spirit that's going to be on you to be able to, to laugh when you see dead bodies around you, people, the chaos, anarchy, and you are laughing? That's a special spirit that the Lord is going to put on you. It says here, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Because some of these animals are created what? for vengeance. The pursuit of the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 28 and down. Yes. Because some of these animals are going to be attacking. They're going to be going wild. Attacking people. Family, the Lord said there are going to be dead bodies everywhere. But the Lord said, you're going to be laughing when all these things are going on. Man, that's a special spirit. And we thank the Lord for that. It says, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt, shalt, shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. It says, For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. You hear that? You hear that? When these crocodiles are chewing people up, going for a walk with your dog, and the crocodile grab you and tear you up, you're going to be laughing. The crocodile will come and walk with you. The lion will walk with you. Eh? They said they're going to be at peace with you. Family, I will leave it there. All praises, all praises, all praises, all praises, honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes, all praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. We are extremely blessed. And all I'm going to say through the Spirit is continue to stay prayed up. We have this truth here. We are not worried, family. Our daily bread, the Lord will make a way. A place to put our head at night, the Lord will make a way. But we got to continue to trust in that name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shad. I will leave it there. I will leave it there. All praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, our King, whom found family. We are anxiously waiting, you know, patiently waiting, and to finally 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 place our eyes on our king yahweh shai double honors to my teachers yes double honors to my elders the head apostle from the great millstone that taught me this truth and salutation peace to all the archaeum the brothers out there doing this work day in and day out in the byways the highways bringing the gospel of yahweh shai to the masses that's right to the elect Shall to you the hopeful elect.